Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm going to be taking a look at Cosmic Desktop Environment again. It's been about a month since we took a look at it, so let's see what all has changed. Um, and what I've done is I've just gone to their website, their project epoch, um, and they've got the install instructions here. So basically you want to go in and enable Wayland. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. I've already done this, but um, I'll show you how to do it. So sudo nano ets and then gdm3 and then custom conf just password and then this wayland enable will be set to false just set that to true and you know, then you'll do a control o for out and then control x to exit and then again you just up arrow and go back into it and make sure that it saved your changes something i like to do all right, and then disable SE Linux. If that's something that you've got enabled, typically you'll, you'll find that on Fedora, uh, but I don't, so we can skip that step. And then finally, install Cosmic with this command here. Again, I'm not gonna do that because I've already done it. But uh, if you run it again, if you've already got Cosmic and you run it again, um, and there's something that needs to be updated, you can do that. I've actually got something that needs to be removed, so I'll do it. And Run this auto remove command. All right, but yeah, once you've got Cosmic installed, then you can reboot and we will log into the Cosmic desktop environment and that's where I'll rejoin you. All right, and as you can see, we've made it into the Rust Cosmic desktop. What I'd like to do to begin is just open up the terminal. All right, it took a second. And then what we'll do is we'll run a neo fetch, and it's running kernel 6.8. Debian package is a little over 2,000, and then eight flat packs. And here's the main thing: the desktop environment is Cosmic, and this is the Cosmic terminal. So I go to File. If we go to view and about, there's the cosmic terminal. Of course, it's all alpha stage. All right, and what I want to do now, let's go in and look at all these cosmic apps. I'm just going to search for cosmic and let's check out cosmic settings first. Time and language. Okay. System accounts. Sound. And then our displays, resolution and whatnot, input devices, and desktop. Desktop and panel. Yeah, let's see if we can move this dock to the left side, like I had it in pop prior to booting into Cosmic. So I go to dock, position of the screen, let's go to the left. Hey, hey, there we go. So that works. Nice, nice, nice. Back to desktop. Appearance. So you can switch from dark to light. And we can also change the um, accent color. So I believe yeah, this is a little hard to scroll with if you click it, but the mouse wheel is pretty easy. Uh, so we'll do it. Let's go with a bluer color. So that changed around the window. It changed up here. Yeah, around the search field. So it looks global. So you can increase the uh, gaps around your tiling windows. So input devices, pretty standard displays. Gonna see if they had anything about the wallpapers in here. Let's see it. I don't know if you can see this. But it's kind of bugged out. Let me go back in. Cosmic settings. Okay. Yeah, it wouldn't let me back out for some reason. I had to close it. So you got your desktop and panel. Here's wallpaper. I don't know if they've added anything or not. Let's go over here. 
That may be new. Now let's be back out. Workspaces. Notifications. So yeah, they're making lots of progress there. But that is the settings application. All right, we'll go back and do Cosmic again, and let's take a look at the text editor. Okay, we got a little side window here where you can open a project. You can collapse or expand that. We'll go to File, you can do a new text document, new window. I'm just curious to see how fast that would open. Okay. Open a file. So all your standard, uh, what's this Git management? Oh, that's neat. Looks like you can integrate with, with uh, GitHub there. Edit, find and replace, spell check, it's nice. View, indention, internal word wrap, Let's go about and then settings match the desktop theme syntax dark default font so pretty nice little editor there the cosmic text editor all right for this next one I'm not sure if I'll be able to show you how it works or not the Cosmic Screenshot Utility. So if I just wanted to take a rectangle of the desktop, let's see if this is going to work. And save to pictures, capture. Yep, saved it to pictures. Let's see if it's there. So when I right click to go, oh, there we go. And we won't, yeah, there's the one I clicked first. If I go into pictures, yep, there's our screenshot. Pretty cool. It gives you the resolution, the format, and the file size, and then where it's saved to. It's pretty cool. All right, we've kind of looked at this a second ago, but we'll go back into it. Cosmic Files. All right. And again, we've got our hamburger menu. We can collapse and expand that. And that'll give you kind of the tree hierarchy. Your home, documents, downloads, music, pictures, videos, trash. And then we've got a file menu, new tab, new window, new file. Folder, open, rename, move to trash. Let's open a new tab. It's pretty quick. So if I wanted to be in like music here and then pictures on this one, file, new tab. Yeah, very quick. All right, but I just want to go back to home. So that was the under file. Let's go edit. You've got your cut, copy, paste, select all. Was operations okay looks like they're, they're building in some uh, automation here with operations but it's not quite ready yet that'll be cool view grid view I believe that's the default list view gives you more of a detailed view the uh, names modified date and then the size how many items are in those folders go back to grid and then about Looks like this was last updated March 30th. Back into settings. And you got a theme, you can match your desktop. You can adjust the icon size, the grid. Oh, it looks like the icon size for the list and the icon size for the grid. And then you can sort by name, modified or size, direction, ascending or descending. And you can also show hidden files. That's cosmic files. All right, and last but not least, I'm going to go Cosmic again. 
and let's check out their app store. Alright, it opens with the installed applications. If I click on create, and again we've got our collapse and expand hamburger menu. Um, I actually haven't tried this yet. Let's let's go and try to grab Inkscape. Uh, we've got flat pack, or we can get the Debian. Let's go Debian. Cool, it's prompting me for my password. As I would expect. Yeah, and it looks like this is working. Yeah, completed. Let's open. Cool. So the app store is working. Here's Inkscape. Just going to close it out. And let's actually see if we... So there's a picture and there's a little arrow here where it looks like if you added more images you could flip through. And it's got a description. So kind of basic here, but it is working. So if you were to, to install Cosmic and you wanted to grab some applications you definitely can do that from the new application store that they've got just gonna click through some we got studio code and there's obsidian for note-taking learn gaming there's steam Spotify Caden live VLC OBS that's which I'm what I'm using now socialize there's telegram brave Flat Seal, Proton Up QT, and then there's my installed apps. And I'm not sure if the updates is working. I don't know if if I just don't have any updates or if it's not working yet. But if you do install this, uh, come in here and you can test it out. And that's going to do it for today's video. I just wanted to put out a quick video to see the uh, progress with the Cosmic Desktop environment. Um, here are some additional videos that you may find helpful and informative. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.